Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the five things that I regret getting for my baby or asking for or putting on my registry. So if you would like to know what those five things are, please just keep on watching. Okay, so here we go. I'm, girl, I'm trying to save you some money. I'm trying to let you know what you need and what you don't need because I think that's so important. As a first time mom, sometimes we don't know what we need. So if you are a first time mom, I'm gonna let you know and I hope this video helps you. Let's get into those five things. The first thing that I regret asking for is a wipe warmer. I did ask for one, my mother-in-law got it for me. However, after using it for a couple months, I really don't think that it's necessary. The wipe warmer that I have, and I will link it below just so you can know which one I have, um, it keeps the wipes warm for literally 2.5 seconds and that might be all of them so as soon as you take the wipe out it's like warm for like a second and then you put it on the baby's bottom and it's not warm anymore so it loses its warmth very quickly and I mean I guess that's science I mean I guess wipes aren't really supposed to stay warm as soon as you take them out but like you take them out it's warm oh the wipes warm and then you wipe the bottom and it's not warm anymore so it doesn't stay warm so that defeats the whole purpose of the wipe warmer also if you change the baby anywhere else in the house or in public you're not gonna have a wipe warmer so they're gonna need to learn how to have a little cold wipe on their bottom anyway so my tip is just to save the money and don't get the wipe warmer I actually have a just another wipe canister that I do like I bought a couple of them so I'll link my wipe warmer below but then I'll also link the wipe just like the little wipe canister below just because I think that's more effective because I mean it's just a regular wipe so they're gonna learn how to have a cold wipe on their bottom anywhere the second thing that I don't think you need is a baby bathrobe. I think I got like three of these and if I would have known I probably would have seen if I could have exchanged it for something more useful because honestly when your baby gets out the bathtub, girl, you are not going to put a robe on them. You're going to put their pamper on them, you're going to put their onesie or their outfit on them and then you're going to call it a day. They're not going to walk around or lounge around in a baby bathrobe. So if you do have a baby bathrobe, robe it's literally just probably for like a photo op and then that's it so I have three of them that I don't use I haven't even touched them you don't need a baby bathrobe they're cute but they're not practical so number three you don't need baby shoes someone did get us baby shoes but they got us baby shoes in a size that he would wear when it is time for him to walk so you don't need newborn baby shoes your newborn baby doesn't need shoes your two month old doesn't need shoes so if you get like a size zero through three your baby's probably not walking during those sizes so you really don't need them they're kind of a waste honestly you're not going to put shoes on your baby anyway they're going to be held when they're that young and they're probably not going to leave the house that much to even need shoes if you want to get those little slippers that go on them just to keep their feet warm when they go out in public that's a little bit more practical than an actual baby shoe or to get like several baby shoes so if you have baby shoes, just know they're probably just going to be used for a photo op and then that is it. The fourth thing that I regret asking for, I regret buying, I regret keeping are baby onesies with the buttons or the snaps. Guys, I was literally ripping my hair out last night trying to button up my little baby onesie, like the sleeper that he was wearing. Y'all, in the middle of the night, all you want to be able to do is quickly take the little legs out, change their diaper, zipping them back up, and get them back in a comfortable position as quick as possible. You don't want to have to deal with buttons or snaps or anything like that. So if you get something with buttons or snaps, as cute as it is, guys, it's really not practical. It's not fun. I would, I personally would take it back and try to find one with a zipper on it because those are so much more effective when you're changing diapers and when you just want to quickly get your baby back in a comfortable position target um the target cloud island brand i want to say that they have them even like they have the zippers that come up from the bottom so if you're thinking oh, i have something in my eye 
So if you're thinking that, oh, I'm going to, you know, get the snaps just so I can unsnap the bottom and leave their chest covered, y'all, they have ones that zip in up from the bottom. So you can zip in up from the bottom, take their little legs out, change the diaper, their chest is still covered, and then zipping it back up. So really, really look into those. They honestly make the ones that are magnetic now, um, those are like, I think you can't buy, I don't think, I've never seen them in the store. So look online, but literally like it's just a ones and you just throw it across and it, it magnets close. So you don't even have to zip in it. Like they're making life so much more easy. And the last thing that I regret buying a lot of, I actually bought a lot of them and I put them on my registry and I completely regret them, are triangle bibs. If you don't know what a triangle bib is, Google it, look it up but triangle bibs are not effective for catching like real spit up because since they are triangle the spit up still gets like on their shoulder there's the spit up still gets on this side of their shirt and on this side of the shirt because honestly the bib only goes like in a V in the middle and there's no it's really no coverage across their whole entire chest to catch that spit up I have a baby that has reflex he spits up quite often those triangle bibs were not doing anything i had to go out and get a whole bunch of like regular bibs target cloud island bibs are my favorite they have a double layer and they do not bleed through to his clothes when he does spit up a lot because like i said he spits up a lot so there's like a lot of spit up and i need something that's really going to be absorbent that's really going to catch that spit up for me and the target cloud island ones are my favorite but don't get the triangle bibs. If you want to get the triangle bibs, that's fine, but they're more of a fashion statement and they're not practical to catch spit up. So just know that if you do get the triangle bibs, they're really not going to do anything in the realm of spit up, catch up, catching all the spit up. But anyway, those are my five things that I completely regret getting. I don't think you need them. I don't think you need a lot of them. So I hope this video helped you in making your baby registry list. If you are still watching, you are awesome, you are great. I thank you for the support. Hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know you're watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.